This is Fred Bullock's instructions on cooking on induction cookware. This is a new type of cookware of which I am extremely proud. It is very easy to cook on. It's very portable. You can take it most anywhere you want to go. It plugs into a regular 110 outlet. And it only gets the item hot in the skillet. The biggest drawback to it is it requires certain types of cookware. Not everything will work with it. The first thing I'm going to do is to place a paper towel on the induction cooktop. And yes, you heard me right, a paper towel. I'm going to put this on there so that when the grease splatters, I'm going to fry some catfish, and when the grease splatters, it doesn't get all over the new cooktop. Okay, we're going to set the pan of grease on here, just regular canola oil. We're going to set it right on top of that, as you can see. And I'm going to start the, the cooktop up. You hit this, your temperature. You adjust it to the temperature. And I'm going to set this temperature at about 212 degrees. I'm sorry, at about 300, at 320 degrees. That's a low temperature for frying fish. Okay, it's been approximately three minutes until the grease has gotten hot enough to start frying the fish. This is a catfish fillet that I just freshly breaded, breaded in a cornmeal and corn and a flour mixture with some seasoning on it. As you can see now, remember this has been three minutes since I turned this on. You can hear the fish frying and you can watch it. I'm cooking at 320 degrees. There's very little splatter. And again, I have the paper towel around it to catch the splatter if there is any splatter at all. Okay, this has been in here approximately two to two and a half minutes. I'm going to turn the fish over. And you'll see that it's a lovely golden brown. The fish is not burned. Uh, there's very little smell to it. Uh, you're not just overcooking or burning the oil. As you can see, the oil looks clear. And this is oil that I have used previously. Uh, it's finishing up here on this. It's been about two minutes on that side. I'm going to turn the fish over and cook it on the other side here. The flour and the cornmeal wants to turn a little darker, and again, this grease is not brand new grease, so it has a tendency to darken things just a little bit. I'm trying to be careful and not overcook it. Now, one thing that is excellent about induction cookware, and even though it's electric, when you turn it off, of which I'm fixing to do right now, this fish is finished, when you turn it off, almost immediately it quits cooking. As you can see, you heard it buzz, and the grease and stuff is just, it's finished cooking right there. I'm going to take it out. Okay, I'm now going to pick the grease up. You can see where it was sitting on the paper towel. There's just a little brown ring there. Probably just a little bit of extra heat. It browned that paper towel just a little bit. But as you can see, the grease has already stopped frying. Everything is done on this. And we now have fried a piece of fish, which is a very little bit of trouble and very easy to do. We now have the finished product. As you can see, I took the paper towel off of here. There's no grease. This is not hot. The only place that's the least bit warm is where the skillet was sitting right in the center. And it'll cool down in just a moment. And this is what the finished catfish looks like which is really a thing of beauty.